In this video, we are going to talk about Bluefish Editor. This is a software which is completely open source. You can download it and install it for free. You don't have to pay anything. And it's about HTML language. So it lets you create web pages and also websites if you create more pages, of course. So we can go here directly in the download page or in the, well, you, you can always reach the other pages from here. Now this is the download page. So what we can do here is scroll, well, we can access the source code since, since it's open source. So you can definitely contribute also by changing the, the code or working with the community around Bluefish and so on. So if you want to know about that, you will find a lot of information in the website. And also you can see that they have binary packages that uh, are available for these operating systems and also they have installers. This is a good news because it's pretty uh, hard to build uh, software from uh, using other application. In, when you have an installer, everything is done by the installer basically. And uh, well, you will find again other information here if you are interested in more technical stuff. Now, in my case, I will click here in Windows. This is the operative system that I'm using. So basically here you have all the information and this is the installing Bluefish on Windows XP or newer. And you need to have, uh, well, you need to have the internet connection, of course, because you need to download it from here. So if you click on this link, this is gonna get you to the final part of the download process. Yeah, and you can also download it from here, apparently. Okay, from this page, you just click on the latest EXE, and this is gonna be downloaded in your download folder. So if you want to look for it, then you can go into the download folder and you will find it there. You can also try with previous versions, but right now this is probably the most advanced and is the 2.2. Now, this is the installer here in the download folder. I just wanted to show you how it's uh, done. And you can double click then here and follow all the instructions in the wizard. It's really simple. It's gonna take about two minutes. And then you should find the desktop icon of the app. So you can open it from here or you can then insert it into your start menu, whatever. So let's just open up from here double click and there you go. Now this is the editor right here and I'm not gonna go through all the different topics about HTML. This is just an introduction but if you support our channel if you can uh, join if you can subscribe we're gonna make more and write your comments of support write also your questions if you want and suggestions for other users and this is also in Italian my language because uh, probably it detects your language on the operative system. So it will give you all the tools and menus in your language and this is also really nice. So uh, another, just the la one thing I want to show you, the last thing, is how to get started. You have this nice little icon right here, it's kind of a page with the green arrow probably. So if you click here let me make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, so you can decide how to start. Now, if you want to start with simple HTML5, you can select it. Also, other types of languages. So, if I say OK, now this is going to give me really the basic structure of what a web page look like, looks like in the HTML part, uh, so the hidden part, this is what you don't see in the in a web page. So if you want to start to play around a little bit, now everything it's visible in a web page is gonna go into the body tags, which is the opening tag and closing tag. So if I do a little bit of space here, and this is, you can design how to organize all of this stuff, but these are like the basic stuff that you need to put into an HTML page. So you start with declaring that you're using HTML and you open up the document here with the first HTML tag and then you close it here. So everything is kind of a box inside a box inside a box. It's kind of a structure 
uh, of a pyramidal structure basically so if you start here then you have the head and this is all the stuff that goes in the head and then you have the body and this is everything is gonna go there and both the head and the body are in, uh, embedded into the HTML document and well you can set a lot of stuff here there is a lot of explanation to do about meta tags but again we are just gonna make a simple uh, experiment here just into the body let's type uh, this is my first uh, not so full web page something like that and let's create now a web page now to do that you just need to save the document so if you go here file and say save or you can save it with a name and I'm gonna save this into the desktop and let's call this my first web page okay and it's gonna appear there now this is kind of a blank document but you can open this with uh, any browser or you can open it also from here the this world icon is gonna give you a preview on one of your browsers that you have installed in my case it's opening up this with uh, Firefox I think and this is the the, the phrase that I just wrote and that's it so it, this is just a first example uh, if you want to start to uh, play around with HTML you can start from here you have a lot of uh, information also on the web you can search for how anything is done basically in HTML and also in other types of documents like PHP or CSS and so on you have different types of languages here and also here you have structure CSS cascade style sheets and well this will be all for this video guide and if you like it please check out other videos in the YouTube channel check out other pages here and if you want to support us subscribe and better join thanks for watching and see you in the next video